Well, congratulations. Uh, welcome to week one of the 20-day program. And week one is all about establishing your position. This week, we're going to take part in a few things. And uh, I trust that as we go through the process, you're going to enjoy Map for Life in a great and significant way. In day one, you're going to be dealing with preparation and setup. Day two is looking at the questionnaires. Day three, we're going to look at the Wheel of Life. Day four, I'm going to teach you a quick assessment. Day five is dealing with new habits. And over the weekend on day six, you'll be able to review the process. So this week, we're going to focus on, or rather, this lesson is going to focus on day one, which is about preparation and setup. The preparation and setup comprises the following. Firstly, you need to set one hour aside for each day for the 20 days. I trust that that is something that you heard in the introductory video and uh, it's really important that you set aside this time. Secondly, you need to read through pages 1 to 35 the, so that you can understand the Map for Life methodology and on page 36 just record some of the key lessons that you've learned. We'd like to invite you to register online for ongoing support. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and last but not least I invite you to watch the welcome video on YouTube and you'll find a link to this on the home page of our website. So let's get started right away. I'd like you to go and open your Map for Life book. Uh, remember you can pause this presentation at any stage. Open your book on page 200 and uh, once you've done that find the current month that you are in. There's a few things that I'd like you to locate on this monthly planner. The first is your monthly action plan or map. The second is the key and the third is the time schedule. I trust that you've seen where those three particular sections are and that's what we're going to be using in preparing for the 20-day program. Let's take a, look at a, a closer look at the map. Firstly, we want to define the map goal and the map goal is to complete the 20-day program. This is going to require four separate major tasks and each of these major tasks covers one week. So the first week we're going to look at establishing your position which we're currently looking at. Week two is going to deal with determining your destination. Week three is to prepare your plan and week four is to take action. This is how you would go about setting a monthly action plan. The next thing we need to take a look at is to complete the key and for the purpose of this exercise I'm just wanting you to add one item in at this point and that's to define the main activity which is to allocate time for your map. Once you've allocated or rather included this as a defined activity you need to go and color code it. So for the context of this example we're using the color blue and we are now ready to move on to our time schedule. Our time schedule is just basically a list of hours in the day. I've started the schedule at 5 a.m. in the morning and completed midnight and I apologize if you do get up earlier than this but you're welcome to change the times as they are listed here. It also runs from Monday through to Friday. Each block represents a half an hour of time. So we're wanting to spend one hour a day and we need to decide whether we're going to do that in the morning, during the day or in the evening. I like to do mine in the evening so for the purpose of this exercise I'm going to take that color blue which we defined in the key and I'm going to block out the time from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. as you see on the table. So I trust that you can take a bit of time and just decide when you are best suited 
or what time is best suited for you to complete your daily activity in this 20-day program. Let's go and take a look at the weekly action plan. Uh, but before I do that, I'd like to just quickly recap what we've talked about. The first thing we've taken a look at is to define our monthly action plan and we've uh, put those items down there. The next thing we've done is we've taken a look at the key which is over here and this key we've marked out our map time and we've color coded it. The third thing that we have done is to go and take a look at our time schedule and in the time schedule we've decided that we're going to complete our map between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. and we've blocked out that time in our time schedule. The next step, once you have your plan for the, the month, is to go and take a look at your plan for the week. Now, you need to go and turn to page 228 in your Map for Life book. And once you've done that, I want you to go and find the current week. The week numbers on the top left-hand side. So in this particular example, we at week one, but I'm sure as you're reviewing this tutorial, you may be at a different week number in the year. On this particular page is a few things that I'd like you to take a look at. The first is your weekly action plan goal table or WAP and that you find on the bottom left hand corner. The next section is your to-do list and that is in the center of the book and the last thing I'd like you to take a look at is your today list. A to-do list that does not become a today list will never be completed. So it's important that you convert your to-do list to a today list. Great. So now you know the three things that we're going to look at on this particular sheet. So let's go and start with the weekly action plan. In order to do the weekly action plan, we need to review our monthly action plan. And you know, of course, our action plan for the month is to complete the 20-day program. And for the first week, it's about establishing our position and we write that particular goal for the week in the space provided. The next thing we're going to take a look at is a to-do list and to complete the to-do list we simply are going to go and take a look at what does it mean to complete our 20-day program and this you'll find in your Map for Life book on page 66 you'll see the program set out there in fact, if you take a look at 65 on the index to the 20-day program, you will see the five days listed there. So let's go and write down the things that we're going to be doing each day. That'll be day one is about preparation, day two is the questionnaires, day three is the wheel of life, day four we're going to deal with a quick assessment, day five the new habits, and lastly we're going to do a review. So this is the items that we will deal with during the course of the week. Well done. We now have our to-do list. The next step is to convert this to-do list into a today list. How do we do that? We take a look at the diary portion of our map and we block out the one hour from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. each evening. So we color code that. The second thing we do is we go and define the activities for each of those one hour slots. The first is our preparation and setup. The second, the questionnaires and day three deals with the wheel of life. These items which I've written down here come from your to-do list. Fantastic. So now we have completed our weekly action plan. And just to recap quickly, we're going to take a look. Firstly, remember we reviewed our monthly action plan. We ticked it off in our checklist. We then went and took a look at our weekly action plan and we completed that. The second thing we did was to go and take a look at our to-do list and we entered in the items for our to-do list, day one to day five. And lastly, we took a look at our today list and we entered in there the time allocated and we added the task for each day. And that's very simply how you go about your monthly and weekly action plans. And I've set it out now because you're going to be using this throughout your map life. You're probably eager, eager to get started in your reading but uh, just a last uh, check on day 
or on page 66 as you complete each of the items I'd like you to tick them off so once you've allocated your time for the the week your one hour for each day of the week tick that off next read pages 7 to 35 it's probably going to take you about 45 minutes to an hour to read I'd like you to record some of the lessons that you've learned personal lessons that is on page 36 and then if you've not yet done so register with map for life at mapforlife.com link to us on Facebook you can do a search Facebook at mapforlife.com follow us on Twitter which is simply at map for life and then don't forget if you've not already done so watch the welcome video because I have a special message there just for you remember there are rewards for completing your 20-day program the one is a free ebook the other is your certificate of completion and of course you are then recognized as a registered member once you've completed day one you are ready to start day two and I look forward to chatting to you on the next video which is going to deal with the questionnaires for each area of life have a fantastic hour I know it's going to be life-changing